Right, well, another day, and I'm pleased to say more advances today, or yesterday, and this morning, very pleased. So, was that finally been able to get a model squeezed out of my little fingers that I was pleased with? Well, the, 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 the grey card structure of it, I'm going to show you straight away, because I've got quite a lot to talk about today, and I'm quite excited. So, this is the, uh, the row of the, the sort of like shops, and uh, not none of them probably finished. And there we have the next one, and you can see this is the actual model that I had been playing with for ages. And uh, so I've got lost this side. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a front door with steps going up, and there, uh, and it's just I'd absolutely wrecked the last one. And I said about this, I can't remember if I said it or not. Oh, was it yesterday I did it? No, it was the day before, it? So, yes, yeah, so that was that. And then I came up with an idea this morning. Um, I had a dream. And uh, I'm sure this has been done a million times before. But it was a a, a toy doll that, ha that had a recording facility that um, you could actually record it. It would speak back to you. And... Um, it basically by accident recorded two people plotting a murder and that's how uh, they were caught and then it came I came up with an idea from that and then you know like that and then it sent me on another journey of another story for the village for Kadakoon and Kadakoon Mount or Cads that's basically you go to Cads Cads is for the, the Cads Bay is El Cads is what people call the two places. So they're going to be twinned together, the two villages. Um, and it's a story about a, a lady who's, who her husband and herself nearly die. Well, she, he dies and she nearly dies from food poisoning 15 years ago and how her life is, how she evolves and get, gets over the grief and actually becomes a, a pillar of the community, you know, and a lot of time for everybody. Um, of course, in the dark world, and it's called the Black Book of Cads, or Cadcoom, it's called, a, called the, the Black Book of Cads. Um, there is going to be um, another story about a gentleman who... who I'm not going to say too much. This, I've been thinking about this. I, I've got to look at this. I've got to have a talk to Pip about this, because I'm putting these ideas out there. I know nobody's looking at it, and nobody's probably going to see this for years, but... I am thinking in the next month or so, maybe after three months, to start to actually push these a little bit. Because the trouble is, I actually... It's the Dancing Man. Have I mentioned the Dancing Man? I don't know if I have or not. See, the Dancing Man is what I'm putting myself to be. I'm, I might have not mentioned this. Uh, basically, it's, it's from TED's um, uh, conferences. They did a talk about this. TED's talk, sorry. And uh, it was about um, this man that has stood up and started dancing in a field with lots of other people in the field and then they they watched and filmed how people reacted now i paraphrase this and like most people i added the bits and so forth but what i say to people is the dancing man will start dancing on his own and nobody else will dance then very slowly something happens that's so rare and so wonderful that four people independently decide to start dancing with him one at a time and they all jump then there's this five of them dancing these people are very very special they are leaders they are pace setters they are people that have independent thought and they actually then get and this is where i'm paraphrasing myself more than ever they then get another 12 or so people that join in i call them the disciples these people actually have not been interested in a dancing man on his own and not shown any interest at all but when they've seen uh, just four people extra four so there's five people dancing they actually join in so now you've got 27 people and this is what i'm going back to what the ted's uh, talk said about it but then what happens is that suddenly in mass on mass the whole field stands up and starts his dancing they don't even know quite why they're doing it. It's just that more more people are doing it and they feel that they have to join in. No independent thought. They've just done it. Interestingly, on the video, I noticed as well that sometimes there were people that were running in from their outskirts of the group and jumping right in the middle and actually pushing the dancing man away so they would be centre of attention. 
these are the worst kind of human. These are the people that take the limelight and have done nothing for it. Now, I am see myself as a dancing man. I'm supposed to be quite mad, by the way. People do things completely independently, completely just do them. I'm supposed to be quite nuts. Um, and my trouble is I'm dancing in a room and it's locked. I'm not, I've only slightly opened the door. So I think I do have to start to try to push um, these vlogs a little bit more. Dangerous, scary as that is. Um, and I probably will look at doing that um, probably in about a month's time. It's nearly two months now that I've been doing it. So in about a month's time, you know. I tried to invite a few people to come on board. And it's funny enough, like even though they're invited, being the dancing man, they can't see me still. It's maybe because that's just bloody stupid. And, it, and what I'm doing is absolutely rubbish. I don't think that matters that much though. I think sometimes passion and ideas, even bad ones, it's the doing that is important. And that is what is wonderful, hopefully. Because I do want this to be recognized. I don't want to just be, I don't want to get 100% proof that I am utterly and completely the only living entity in the universe I want evidence I want strong clear evidence that I'm I'm not just that so anyway you might say well Dave you get evidence every bloody second of the day you more one well yes maybe I do but not enough not enough for me but I went we went to Sue's and had a coffee and some toast for Tina and then uh, and we went to the charge shop now I hate to say that every time I go to a charity shop, especially when I go quite regularly, it's a new shop that, uh, well, they've just changed hands and their, their prices are, are far better than they were ridiculous before. I just stopped going in. But they actually have got some good set of, uh, of stuff in there, interesting stuff. And then um, they think I'm a, a, a dealer. You know, they, they they were nice enough about it, but they, they gave me every opportunity to admit that I was a dealer. Um, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a collector for the experience, and what will be set up in in, in the, the trouble is it's going to be set up in the old auction house. And when I said auction house, I went, ah, oh, mm -hmm. yes, okay, yes, yes, yeah. And um, and I wanted something that they that they sold me, and I said I don't really want to pay that. And uh, and they said, well, how much would you be willing to pay? And I said, well, you know, that's how much you know because. I want it for me and then they again didn't believe it and I wasn't being tight but they were asking a lot of money and I just and they asked me so I said and they said yes you can have it but I do think they think I'm a dealer but time will tell they will come down they, again I'm dancing in front of them all the charity shops the main one in Halsworth is not open yet and I've been asking them to come see the shop and to come see the experience what I've done so far for years and they never do they've got their own assumptions of what it is and what I do they you know I've had people I don't go to car boot sales anymore because I used to get people bloody scream at me tell me that I was a dealer and uh, really nasty <laughs> real some real nasty experiences Um really strange but there we go anyway so what have i bought i'm really pleased two songs that i've been wanting for years i'll go through the records first so we've got poor simon these were 25p not a pound each they were four for a pound special offer this is the one the big country i've been wanting the big country for years and years and years i'm going to try to put my record player on and uh, see if i can actually get a uh, Get it, let's get some of these to play. Penny from Heaven. I remember the, the thing. I can't remember the, tune, the tunes on them though. But it's interesting there. And for 25p. I've got a clue of this. It's Bobby Brown. Don't be cruel. This one again. Santa Nanaris. I can't read these unfortunately. The names. I can't read names. I have to make my own up. Sam Brown. Carpenters. Now I had this. We had this as a kid. Let's go and see if this is worth it. Well, I'm putting on... There's a song I'm putting on. I'm going to have to turn off down very quickly if it works. Let's see if it, the music sounds. No, that's fine. I think you might have recognised that. Because this record player, it's an old record player I've got. And it's, it actually sometimes um, takes a bit of time to warm up. But this, The Carpenters, I had this. This actual very album as a kid. 
Well, it was my mum and dad's. And I can always remember his face. I can always remember standing at the piano and what he must have felt. And he talks, it's a lovely story. I'll just, I'll just home on it so you can read it yourselves. If I can get, not get any shine on it. There's shine everywhere in there. That's it. Is that any better? That's better. It's 1983, I think it was. She, di she died. Very sad. It's a beautiful, beautiful voice. And he blamed himself. I'm sure his mum and dad blamed themselves and they blamed themselves. What a loss. And I always remember finding that story out as a child. I would have been around about 15 when we got this, I suppose. And looking at his face, and I used to look at his face for the whole time I used to listen to the album. I just remember thinking, the loss, the loss you feel. <laughs> anyway, Tim Steele singing in the rain. It ain't going to be as original as things, but that looks quite fun. I don't, and I, I don't know why I got. I mean, little white ball. That's the memory I've got of me. I don't know, Jonah Mitchell. Don't know. 